everyone and welcome to another game of World of Warships. Today it is me playing again in my Isumu, tier 9 Japanese battleship. I'm on the map hotspot in a standard battle and it's a tier 9 battle with only two tier 9s per team. So pretty nice matchmaking for me. Now when we take a look at the map the team is split when it comes to spawning. So you have a small defensive force and here a more offensive force. And well, there are a couple of things you can do. If you spawn over here, you can just try to push and take the enemy's cap or you can go for a more defensive route and go here towards the middle. Maybe meet up with the rest of your team. Try to be in a position to defend if the enemies are too aggressive. And I'm not quite sure what the right move is. If you wanna go here to the outskirts, you're pretty much committing to a push. Can work really well if you push pretty hard here and just go for the enemy cap. Now, if you find yourself here in a battleship, you're not really in a position to help defend. But if you can aggressively push, this shouldn't matter too much. You can also go just like here towards the middle. And I mean, you can be aggressive and push through the middle. You can meet up with your team and then see what's going on. So I'm deciding to go in or for a, I guess, defensive path. You, in a battleship, you never want to go through those small islands directly because you will get ambushed by torpedoes. And here I take some shots at this Benson and I didn't get a single hit, unfortunately. But I guess at a destroyer at this range, this is kind of expected. I'm here also taking it slow. You wanna see what your team does, I guess, and react accordingly. Uh, one downside of pushing pretty hard over here is if you aren't in a platoon, you can never be sure if your team will follow. And alone, you can't just push over there. So if you go there and you find that your team is not willing to assist you in a push, then you are in a pretty awkward spot because if you have to drive all the way around in a battleship, it it will take a long time. So we do have a destroyer here scouting the middle. There is an enemy destroyer here. We have a cruiser who can hopefully support this destroyer. But there's probably there are probably a lot of enemy ships around here. So if you are here in a cruiser and you get spotted, you might just get obliterated by an overwhelming force. Now, as you can see, my here on the right hand side they seem to have the advantage but so far they aren't taking it slowly and yeah we have a destroyer scouting over here now if you want to go here towards the zone wall so basically here you can just stop an enemy push but if you drive over here and an enemy push isn't coming then you'll find yourself in a position where you are just well, in the middle of nowhere and it's pretty bad so unless you're sure that the enemy is pushing over here, I probably wouldn't go down here in a slow ship. In a destroyer, it's fine. I mean, this destroyer can spot stuff and he is pretty fast. Now, it looks like the enemy isn't committing here. And it would seem like... I mean, the enemy is pretty much undecided as we are, I guess. They are trying to meet up and see what happens from here. I'm still slowly driving here towards the middle. Now I do have some scouts here, so I don't have to be worried getting ambushed from those islands. And I mean, I don't want to go here too fast because I don't have much support. I have one cruiser behind me and those two cruisers, the, the, way, the way they are looking, they might just come over here and help me. We have, I guess, those scouts over here. This, this cruiser is in a bad spot. The destroyer is in a pretty good spot, I guess. And those on the right side, they still haven't decided if they really want to push. Now, if those cruisers support me and this force here pushes, and I can be a little bit more aggressive. 
but we shall see what happens. Now, I problem with this middle position where I'm here is that obviously all of those ships can kind of shoot at me. I don't really have cover and since I'm here in the center of the map I can be shot from all those guys. Well, from those ships who have the range. But at this tier that's quite a few. On the bright side I can be somewhat decently angled against most of those ships. And, well, they critically damaged the main turret. As long as they don't destroy it, it's not really that bad. And I really like this cruiser. He is staying behind me and he is supporting me. And it seems like those two cruisers are coming out here to play as well. And that's kind of an ideal position. I'm in the front. I will hopefully get shot from most of these people and uh, those three cruisers can stay behind me and well, rain fire upon the enemies. But I still gotta be careful. There is a lot of enemies there. Even if those three cruisers support me, we are just four ships. We have lost those guys here in the middle and I mean, those here on the right side, they might push. There is also a small battle here on the left side. When they have dealt with the battleship, which they will hopefully do, they can then continue to push over here. And hey, I just got my first kill. Which is nice. So we can take it slowly here. We can wait until the right flank pushes in a little bit more and until the left flank, they have now dealt with the battleship. Once they are somewhere over here, we can converge on the enemies from all sides, basically. Which should prove to be very efficient. And I'm now in a position where I decide that I don't really want to push in any further, because here on the right side, they... I mean, we only have to destroy here in the front the battleship and the cruiser decided to retreat and wait a little bit longer. Maybe they are also waiting for the eyes on the left flank to push in further. So I'm... Turning my ship around. And... I snuck out over there, he was... A he ran himself into the ground. But I was really trying to get this rune. The rune is on low health and if, if we could just kill him, that would be one less ship shooting at us. Now, it does seem that my cruiser support is ready to push. So, I can't retreat right now. If those cruisers want to go in, then I'll have to go in with them. Means, instead of just, uh, like, retreating or something, I just continue my turn and, and I'll have to go back in. Now, fortunately, this battleship and cruise on the right hand side, I have retreated to a position where they probably can't even shoot those guys because of this island. But I'm guessing they will turn around and come back in any moment now. So we shouldn't push too hard because we have support coming over here and we have support coming here on the left. I think those shots will just hit the island, unfortunately. Yeah, this rune is still alive. I failed, fortunately, to kill her. Now I'm going for the Nagato. He is offering his broadsides to me. And well, I'm not. My angling is not that great currently.
Oh, I am eating back up. My cruisers have kind of overtaken me and which means I should probably now go full speed ahead. I mean, even though I'm taking quite a bit of damage, I still have more HP than this Miyoko. And I also can repair. And close that enemy. Now this Miyoko is well, very brave. And I should really try to get in there. Yes, he's requesting fire support. Yeah, it's really time for me to get to the front line again. You can see all those cruisers coming in here. Our team is really now converging on the enemy and... It's looking really good for us. Now here I'm turning my ship because I want to use my third turret here in the front. Which considering... Where this cruiser is going it might not have been the best idea. But uh, you see now uh, it's this poor guy he has run into the island and now I'm coming this way and there isn't much I can do. I can't really turn to the right more because this island is too close. So yeah. but hey it's it works all out in the end. And maybe I can finally kill this room. Looking good. There we go. Enemy cruiser foundered. Oh, there seems to be an enemy trying to go for our cap, which is undefended. But I mean, we've started capping and we have quite a lead already. There are only a few enemies left and they probably will fail in resetting all of us. And you see, all of our forces have now converged on the enemy's cap point. This is a nice victory. And they're under fire from quite a few people, which which is nice. Because I'd rather have them shooting me than my cruisers. And six nice hits over there, I'm not sure how much damage they did. But yeah, I'm, I'm not too worried about this cruiser, even if he makes it to our cap, he will be far too late. Basically all that's left to do in this game is to just get some more damage. And <laughs> yeah, that wasn't much damage now, was it? Now I'm really uncertain who I wanna shoot, but I decided to go for the Ibuki. I mean he is he is presenting his broadside quite nicely. And he doesn't look in a mood to like change his course. So yeah, there we go. We destroyed an enemy cruiser. And yeah, the enemies, they are all trying to run away, but they can't because there is a map border. And we now have the choice. I mean, we could stop capping and kill them, or we could just continue capping. I don't think it really matters at this point. Ah, 
and I'm hoping to get a few nice hits over there, but instead I... Well, I guess I kind of screwed that up. Now we've almost won. Probably won't be able to fire another salvo. Yeah, it was a really nice battle. I really enjoyed it. And I think my team did pretty well. So let's take a look at the results. I got um, almost 1,800 base experience. It was a decent game. Uh, but then again, I was the tier 9 battleship in a game where there were almost no tier 9s. There is that. And I think it was pretty well played from my team. We kind of worked well together, I guess. Basically, we, we were spread out, we had ships on all flanks, and yeah, we took it slow in the beginning, and then we just pushed in and crushed the enemy. I was able to tank quite a lot and hopefully protect my cruisers behind me so that they could freely rain fire down upon the enemies. And yeah, I, I really enjoyed that battle. I got myself Dreadnought as the only achievement. So yeah, I got shot quite a bit, but I considered that to be one of my jobs as the top tier battleship. I didn't do a crazy amount of damage, but yeah. I'm okay with that. So I hope you enjoyed watching this battle and I see you guys next time.